Over the past few months, my wife has actually rejuvenated her YouTube channel where she's uploading right now around one day a week on Saturdays, soon to be probably two days a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays or probably Wednesdays and Saturdays. So on her channel, she's doing a lot of thrifting videos. She's doing some mystery box videos, but hers are more towards like designer brands. She's done some like Cart Heart mystery boxes, Lululemon mystery boxes. She's done some other types of mystery boxes on her channel that you don't see on this main channel. So I actually want to give you a little, little teaser, little snippets of some of her videos that she's posted on her channel over the past couple months. Videos that she's recorded, I edited for her, uploaded on her channel for her. I went ahead, kind of made a little collage, a little sampling that you can see on my main channel of Franchise Kicks. But feel free to give my wife a follow on her YouTube channel. There will be a direct link to her YouTube in the description box to this video at the very top. So feel free to follow my wife, Becky, at her YouTube channel. She's uploading every single week now with her own personal content. So make sure to check it out. Like this this video would just be kind of a little teaser, little snippets, little clips of her videos that you can see on her YouTube channel. They're a lot of fun, so check them out. Her link to her YouTube is right down below in the description box to this YouTube video. I am back on my channel. I am excited to build the channel back up and um, do some new content with you guys. I know it's been a while since I have been on the channel with a lot of activity. We've been focusing mostly on uh, the Franchise Kicks channel and now I am ready to start doing some new things on my channel. So I've got something a little bit different for you guys today. Um, as you know, I have been doing some clothing resell, thrifting, looking for some new opportunities um, and wanted to share what I've been doing. So here recently, I found a website that um, basically thrifts for you. Of course, you're gonna pay a little bit of a premium um, for a company thrifting for you, but you can buy certain categories and um, I took advantage of that opportunity and I bought a Lululemon um, thrifted bag of goodies. Um, they could be tops, bottoms, whatever, um, but they're all supposed to be Lululemon branded items. Okay, this is a bright top, very small. Um, but this is, looks like a little tank razor back with the perforations um, in the back and in the front. It has a zipper, the label, and I will get pricing and try to insert that into the video um, as we go. They do have a pocket at the waistband. You've got the logo inside as well. I'll see what else I can find on these. Yeah, because I don't see any sizing. But anyway, those are pretty nice. They look like a small, maybe. Starting off, we have this pair of board shorts. These are by O'Neill. They are the Super Freak board shorts. And I paid $1.99 for these. Now, I know they probably won't sell right now. I'd be surprised if they do. Um, but they should sell over the summer and, um, you know, this is a good time potentially to be looking for people donating those summer items as they clean out their closet for their new fall and winter items. So $1.99 for these pretty cool O'Neill right there on the side. These are a size 36. Again, I paid a dollar ninety nine for these. Anyways, <laughs> I was sitting in the living room watching TikTok, and they said one of the videos said that you can unlock any vehicle without the keys, and so I'm gonna try it. So got my car right here. They say to pull this handle once, this handle twice. One, two, three, four. It's still locked. <laughs> Tick 
TikTok lied. TikTok lied? They lied. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. So I have another kind of thrifting um, video for you. So as you know, I'm starting to get into doing some more clothing items. And we happened, when I say we, Clint and I, happened upon a yard sale or a church sale actually that was not advertised anywhere. We were going to the post office and then to the gym and we were driving down one road and all of a sudden here was this massive church sale that was not advertised anywhere. I got these. If anybody knows that brand, it's Kooji. Um, so Kooji jeans sell for pretty good money. I was so excited when I found this, but then as I was looking it over, found a little hole in it, but that's okay. That's all right. So I have this North Face hooded jacket, really nice looking jacket. But uh, like I said, as I was going through it, I did find that it has a little hole in it in those two little places. As you know, I have been working on rebuilding this channel and doing some different things, um, looking at thrifting clothing and building up my knowledge of clothing and uh, hopefully being able to turn a profit. Um, but just recently, I came across a website that kind of does thrifting for you. Um, obviously, you do pay a little bit of a premium for the already thrifted items, but you buy them in specific categories. And so today, I have the Carhartt category of clothing. It looks to be in great condition. We've got the logo there at the bottom. Of course, it's logoed across the shirt. Looks to be really nice. It feels like it's still new. Maybe it may be new, but I will certainly sell it as pre-owned. Um, so very nice start for our first shirt. All right, so we just have a couple more items and we are moving to a flannel. This is super nice. I love the colors. It's like the red, the blue, and the gray. You've got your Carhartt, Carhartt logo here on the um, pocket of the front of the shirt. This is what the back looks like. This is a size large, and it is their original fit. So that, there we go. I've been working on studying clothing brands and hopefully find some things that work well to sell within my eBay store. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. A couple of things that I picked up was a little bit of a gamble, but um, I thought it was worth it for the price of the item. So I'm going to show you the items. I'll tell you what I spent and what the potential profit is there at the end. So hang with me and we'll get into this stuff. All right, so my first find was this Vineyard Vines men's checkered um, button-down shirt. It is a size XL, and I paid $4.99 uh, for this item. I'm hoping to be able to, I'll probably list it at $30 and hoping to be able to get, you know, $25, $30 out of the item. All right, so the next one that I picked up I only picked this item up because it is vintage. Um, so I picked up this skirt. It is Pendleton. And if you guys know the brand Pendleton, it usually sells pretty well. Now this is a fairly unique skirt. Um, and it does have the, the pleating on the side. It is a size 10 petite and it is a 100% uh, wool. So I only paid $4.99 for this one. And I'm going to try to list this one, or not try, but I am going to list this one for $35 and see where that takes so I us. I just left my trip from Goodwill on Black Friday. Yes, that's how I spent my Black Friday was shopping. So I am here at the Goodwill and I have all of this lovely stuff right here to go through with you guys. I couldn't wait till I got home. So we're just going to do this right here, right now. If things go right, I think I just made a lot of money, um, especially off of the J. Jill pants. 
um, the shoes, the mountain hardware jacket. So I think I did pretty well, pretty excited about it. I'm gonna get home, get this stuff detagged, get things washed up and start my photos and listings. I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out.